G'day viewers, my name's Oren Thomas, and in this short video, I'm going to show you what to do if you've had a failed domain controller that you can't recover, what you actually go and do about it. Okay, so imagine you've got a failed domain controller and you just can't recover it. Something's got corrupted, your backups are stuffed, the hardware's blown up, an iguana's gone and taken the storage controller down to the pub. Whatever it is, you can't get it back. So what do you actually go and do in that sort of situation? So let's look at the lab environment I've spun up for this. I've got DC Alpha, DC Beta, and DC Gamma. The IP address of DC Alpha is 10.10.10.200, Beta 10.10.10.205, and Gamma is 10.10.210. And what I'm simulating here is the absolute, complete, and utter failure of DC Alpha. DC Alpha is gone. Now, the problem with this lab environment is that DC Alpha actually hosted all of the FISMO roles. It was the first domain controller in the domain, and none of these were spread out amongst anything else. So here I am on DC Gamma. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up terminal, run it as administrator, and run some diagnostic commands here. So the first one I'm running is DC Diag, and I'm just going to go and test DNS. And what this is going to do is check DNS in the environment. And what it's found is that the DNS server on DC Alpha 10.10.10.200 can't be contacted. So that's going to be a problem in my environment because there's going to be other clients that need that. The next thing I'm doing is I'm doing a replication summary, and I find that the only communication is between DC Beta and DC Gamma. DC Alpha's down for the count. So if I do a rep admin and then show replication partners, what I can see again is replication is only existing between Beta and Gamma. So the first thing I'm doing in here is I'm going into my Ethernet, and because I know that that DNS server's down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ensure that this particular domain controller is no longer using that failed DC as a DNS server. I've gone and put it onto DC Beta, and then I've gone and put it to the local address of DC Gamma. So that's the first thing I'm doing, because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get this Active Directory replication back to a state of health. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I've got a backup of the Active Directory database. And I can do that by creating a system state backup. Now, you don't need anything fancy to go and create a system state backup. You can just use the built-in Windows Server Backup tool. So I go to Local Backup. I go Backup once. I select different options in this case. All I want to do is a system state backup. So I select custom right here. When I've got my items for backup, I just go and select system state. Now I've got mounted storage on this particular domain controller that I can use as my destination, but I could go and use a remote shared folder. Just make sure that before you start messing around, you've got a backup of the system state and you should be doing this fairly regularly. There's a million stories out there about people losing their entire Active Directory environment and not actually having a backup of any of their domain controllers. So you can see that that's gone and written the system state backup. And we know that we've now got that one sitting in the back pocket should we need it. Okay, so let's go and deal with this failed DC. I go across to Active Directory users and computers. And one of the brilliant things since Windows Server 2008 is that you can remove a domain controller and all of its metadata from Active Directory if it's failed simply by deleting the computer account from the domain controller's container in Active Directory users and computers. So I select delete and it says, are you sure you want to do this? And then I get a notice saying, you really should be doing this using add remove features or DC primer or if you're using a really old version of Windows Server. We know we can't do that because this domain controller is absolutely gone. So I select the delete this domain controller anyway option and I select delete. Now, it warns me and it says, Oren, this domain controller is a global catalog. Are you sure you want to do this? And I'm like, yeah, mate, I'm absolutely sure. So I click yes. Now, this is really, really, really cool. It's detected that all of those FISMO roles were on that domain controller that I wanted to delete. So what it's going to do now is automatically transfer all of those FISMO roles to DC Gamma, which is my local domain controller. So whichever DC you run this operation on, 
it's going to go and transfer any of the FISMO roles that were sitting on the failed DC across to your local DC. So I click OK and I allow that to happen. So we've cleaned up most of the metadata. The thing that we have to do next is we need to go into Active Directory Sites and Services and delete the domain controller there. So we go into default first site name. In this case, we've got DC alpha there. I right click on it. I select delete. I go, yeah, I'm sure. And then I use delete subtree. And what this is gonna go and do is gonna delete a whole lot of replication and site related information about the DC. Now I'm gonna go and check that that's actually happened by going into Active Directory Administrative Center. And in Active Directory Administrative Center, I can check the DFS replication, the Sysvol replication, and all of the replication that that DC might be involved in by going into the system container, jumping in to the DFS uh, global settings folder, looking at domain system volume and going to topology. And I can see that there's just two domain controllers there, DC beta and DC gamma, which means that the DC alpha object has been removed. That metadata has been cleaned up. The last thing I want to go and do is I want to go over and go into the DNS records because they sometimes don't get fully cleaned up either. And specifically what I'm interested in is whether or not there's any records of DC alpha here. And what I see is I've got one in the name server. So it's listed as an authoritative name server in contoso.internal, present in msdcs.contoso.internal. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go through any zone and remove the DC alpha as an authoritative name server. And I'm just gonna go through and check. For example, we look at PDC emulated locations. We see it's not there, it's just gamma. We can see here that we've just got beta and gamma. Just go and do a sanity check of DNS to see whether or not there's any records left of the domain controller that you've decided to surgically remove from your domain because it's gone and failed. Okay, so we've gone and done that. We've removed it from Active Directory users and computer sites and services. We've used admin center to check replication and we've gone through and we've done DNS. I'm pretty sure that we've actually dealt with most of the problems here. The next thing I'm gonna do is because there'll be clients out there on my network that are still using the old IP address of the failed domain controller, I'm gonna add the IP address of that failed domain controller as an alternate IP address on this domain controller until I can come up with a slightly better solution. That means that anybody who's trying to talk to that old domain controller for some reason or another is gonna get its traffic handled by this particular domain controller. Now that we've done all of that, we're just gonna do a few quick checks at the command line. And what I do now is a rep admin, sync all, and what this does is it forces replication throughout the domain. And we can see the replication partners are just gamma and beta. There's no alpha listed here in the replication partners. So what we know, we can also see that the synchronization has terminated with no errors, which means that as far as we can tell, we've actually successfully removed that domain controller from the domain. Okay, let's do some quick takeaways from this session. First of all, you delete the failed domain controller in Active Directory users and computers, and that prompts you to transfer all FISMO roles that are located on the failed domain controller and will remove most of the Active Directory domain services metadata. You also need to delete the failed domain controller from Active Directory sites and services. Check your DNS server, the name server and other records and then temporarily assign the failed domain controller's IP address as an alternate to the functioning domain controller in the same site. Hope you got a lot out of it. If you've got any suggestions for any more topics, drop them in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.